Once upon a time, there was a princess named Danae, hailing from the kingdom of Argos. She was admired for not only her beauty but also her bravery. However, her own father, King Acrisius, imprisoned her in a bronze chamber because he was warned by an oracle that her son would be his downfall. Despite this, Zeus, the strongest of the Olympian gods, fathered Danae's child while disguised as Golden Rain, naming the child Perseus. To prevent the prophecy from coming true, King Acrisius set Danae in her infant son adrift in the sea inside a chest. Eventually, they reached the island of Seriphos, where the king, Polydectes, was enamored with Danae and desired her hand in marriage. When Danae refused, Polydectes plotted to have Perseus slain on a quest to retrieve the head of Gorgon Medusa. Fortunately, with the aid of Athena, Perseus was able to kill the monster using a reflective shield. He returned to Seriphos with Medusa's head and turned Polydectes to stone, thus ending his tyranny. Afterward, Perseus and Danae sailed back to Argos to confront King Acrisius. During a games competition, Perseus accidentally killed his grandfather with a discus, finally fulfilling the prophecy. Moreover, Danae's contribution didn't stop there. She founded the city of Ardea in Latium, leaving a remarkable legacy of strength and perseverance for all women. King Acrisius was devastated when he was told that he would never have a son but that he would, in fact, be killed by his daughter's son. To prevent this prophecy from coming true, he locked his daughter Danae in a bronze chamber underground. Despite his efforts, the god Zeus desired Danae and impregnated her in the form of golden rain. Acrisius could not stop what was destined to happen, and Danae gave birth to a son, Perseus. In an attempt to rid himself of the prophecy, Acrisius cast Danae and Perseus into the sea on a wooden chest. To everyone's surprise, the sea calmed, and they both survived. Dictes found them and took them to the island of Seriphos. There, they were welcomed and taken in by the king, who was charmed by Danae's beauty. However, King Polydectes had his eyes on Danae and would not leave her alone. To get rid of Perseus, Polydectes asked for his head, promising to leave Danae alone if he complied. Perseus knew the task was impossible and, yet, he accepted it. By using Athena's shield, Hermes's winged sandals, and Hades's helmet of invisibility, Perseus was able to find and decapitate Medusa without being turned to stone by her gaze. When Perseus returned, he accidentally killed Acrisius when he struck him on the head with a javelin during a disc-throwing contest. And thus, the oracle's prophecy was fulfilled. Perseus ruled over Mycenae and became a legendary hero. Do you want to explore more Greek mythology stories? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.